All right. So are you working on a product idea, on a startup, or trying to build your business? You want to raise some capital? You want to apply to Y Combinator? You might want to get your business proposal or pitch deck analyzed. This is going to be a fun one. Welcome to day 11 of the 28 day AI automation challenge. Today, I have picked an essay. So this is a famous essay by Paul Graham. It's called Billionaires Build, where he has talked about the kind of qualities, characteristics, and uh, you know elements partners at Y Combinator look for in your application, in your pitch deck, uh, to see whether your startup idea, your product idea has got potential or not. So. I've turned that essay into a rubric, into some sort of a framework, which is categorized into three different elements, ambition, counterfactuals, extraordinary. All I got to do is I've created an interface. So people who have a pitch deck or who are trying to apply to Y Combinator can simply just upload the PDF of their slide deck and get an analysis done by Paul Graham himself. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Take it with a pinch of salt, obviously. So let's get into it. So for this automation workflow, I've created an interface. It's called Paul's YC Application Evaluator. This is basically the front end of our automation workflow. This is the description. It's using Paul Graham's ACE framework. I'll talk a little bit more about uh, what this is all about and where it is coming from. And all I got to do is upload my pitch deck. So here I'll go Airbnb. I've taken this as an example. This is the Airbnb slide deck and I'll upload this. This is done and I'll click on submit and run flow. My workflow would get triggered from here. And if I want to see what's going on. So here you can see this is the interface. And if you want to add interface to your workflow automation, you can add it from the button at the top. Okay. Now all I got to do is create this, edit this workflow, edit this interface. So when I edit this interface, I can define the label, etc. I can pick and choose the types of fields that I want to add. All of those things are possible as per your design, as per your requirements. So what it takes is the PDF document. Okay. Your pitch deck. Now, sometimes PDFs are basically images. So what I've done is if the file contain, I've added uh, a condition that uh, it should not be empty. If it is empty, that means it's images. So I'll also add this OCR reader. The OCR reader would extract the text from image based PDFs. And uh, then here is the main thing. This is the rubric that we have created from Paul's ACE framework. Now, Paul Graham basically wrote this uh, blog post this in December 2020. This might be a little outdated, but uh, the principles would still remain the same. And that's what Paul recently talked about uh, in his tweet also. So here he has shared this ACE framework. He has mentioned that, you know, how to ACE Y Combinator interview. There's been so much nonsense written about this topic. I have turned this essay into a prompt where I've said that act as a startup expert trained on Paul Graham's ACE framework. There's no terminology like ACE framework, but uh, here we have tried to, you know, summarize that essay and turn it into a rubric. That rubric is what we are calling as ACE framework. So this is just a made up terminology. Uh, there's no such thing as ACE framework, but yeah. Critically evaluate the following pitch deck or product idea using these three criteria ambition. So I've asked a bunch of questions here in each of these categories. And uh, there are three categories, ambition, counterfactuals, extraordinary. So combined analysis of uh, these three pointers and asking at least eight to nine questions from the analysis, what we do is we tell the model to be ruthless. Okay, highlight gaps in logic, overestimations of differentiation, or missing secret sauce. Output format is this. And yeah, that's pretty much what our prompt looks like. I'm using DeepSeek uh, R1 for this analysis. And uh, once I run this workflow, so here also I uploaded the Airbnb pitch deck. And the results, if you want to check out the results here, look at the output response. So 
ambition score for airbnb is 8 on 10 then counterfactuals score is 7 on 10 with the the analysis the idea relies on the truth that people are willing to trust strangers with their accommodation okay what uh, the world would lose without airbnb the world would lose a platform that democratizes travel so on and so forth gaps extraordinary score is 6 on 10 so airbnb's first mover advantage is a transaction based tra temporary housing is a strong differentiator exceptional talent the team has relevant expertise in design business development and technology however there is no mention of prior exits or deep domain expertise uh, timing the idea leverages the rise of sharing economy and increasing trust in online platform and together so it, there are some red flags and then uh, basically the final result turns out to be proceed so proceed with some actionable next steps and that's it so airbnb has strong potential but it needs to address these gaps to fully realize its transformative ambition so that is what the you know paul's analysis would have looked like as per this essay and obviously you take it with a pinch of salt because this is all ai so yeah uh, i think airbnb as we all know has become so big today and uh, yeah we got a good proceed so airbnb would have gotten selected if you have your pitch deck and you want to get it analyzed just use the interface i'll just share the link of the interface and you can try it out on your own all right i hope that was useful uh please uh, like the video if you enjoyed it if you want to try a different combination you have some ideas comment down below subscribe to the channel as that's going to help me you know keep pushing out more content like this and provide value uh you know as much as possible that's it i will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to you know analyze your slide deck using the interface